I, Sarah, take you, Adam, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I haven't actually seen it yet, so I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like you. I, Adam, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. To begin, we'd like to share just a few thoughts about our son. Adam has always been very determined. You have accomplished so much more than any parent would expect. We are so very, very proud of you. We know it's your patience, your endurance, and your dependability that will serve your marriage well. When we first met Sarah, we remember being greeted with an absolutely beautiful smile and a warm embrace. It warms our hearts to know that our family will be surrounded by this kind of love as she joins our family today. So welcome Sarah to our family. one of her students said they loved coming to Sarah's class because every day she wore a new pair of shoes to class. <laughs> and Adam buys her the shoes. <laughs> we knew something was happening there. <laughs> See, I've known Adam for about 15 years, and at first we couldn't stand each other. And we fought and we bickered over and over again until one day in grade two, he came up to me, he matured over the summer it seemed, and he said, beat me up. <laughs> now, I was touched by this, you know? I mean, like, for him to, you know, have an emotional development and really realize that our differences were very petty, but um, so I did what anyone would do in that situation, and I hit him as hard as I could, as many times as he would let me. And to date, this is the only fight that I have won in my life. But that was Adam. He was open, honest, unreserved. And from that moment on, we were best friends. You're the reason I believe that honey love is a ringing bell. Older we get, our lives grow, and it becomes harder and harder to maintain those close friendships. What I think I appreciate the most is how easy it is to maintain a friendship with you. You make it easy to be around you in company, and I value each moment with you together. Even though you'll soon be living a whole time zone away, I know that when we see each other again, our lives will pick up right where they, you know, right where they left off. You're the story I want to tell. You're the reason. 